okay so now i am going to cover one more example uh, to explain the um, arguments okay so let me delete this uh, the previous uh, the previously created workflow okay so invoking method and what i do so assume that so i have a uh, excel okay so in that excel i have a table and i am going to use one workflow to read that table and also and i am going to create another workflow to uh, do manipulation with the data okay so let's say uh, i'm going to create uh, two workflow that is one for uh, uh, excel handling okay so go to uh, design tab click on new sequence so let me add the name as um, extract data or extract excel data okay and i created it so now uh, i'm going inside the project folder and here i'm going to create uh, the excel file okay click on create and uh, click on uh, excel file that is data and open it okay so in the sheet one and uh, i have a name name and let me add a subject uh, one and uh, subject two okay then let me add name like something is a b c d for demo purpose okay here i will add numbers okay let me copy this and paste it here actually. okay assume that this is a data okay close it and go to your uh, studio and here i'm going to build a workflow that is uh, to read the excel data right and uh, so whenever you create a new sequence always make sure that and uh, you need to add a annotation of this particular workflow what is the purpose of this workflow you right click on this particular uh, sequence and go to annotation and there is a add annotation option or else you can do shift f2 okay then click on this add annotation and here i can say uh, this workflow is used to read data from uh, from uh, from and date workbook data workbook workbook data and uh, sheet 1 okay sheet 1 okay so here this uh, this workflow is used to, to read uh, data table uh, from workbook data and the sheet name sheet name sheet 1 Okay, so this is a small uh, description about this, but this entire workflow. workflow. And now, uh, to read that particular sheet, as you know, go to activity panel, there is an activity called read range. Okay, read range. So, drag and drop read range. Sorry, read range workbook activity. And uh, then, just provide your uh, path okay your uh, workbook path and mention your uh, sheet one okay sheet name and uh, this range leave it as it is because i'm going to uh, read the entire uh, sheet okay then once i read the entire data i need to store it somewhere else right so where i can store in the output go here create a variable uh, sorry create a argument because here uh, as we know if we create a variable we can store it even if we create an argument we can store it so now our intention is we are not going to keep that particular uh, value in, in only in, inside our workflow once only inside this workflow our intention is to pass this uh, extracted data table value from this workflow to another workflow then what i do then i can create control shift m okay this is for out okay let me uh, say out 
um, underscore uh, data table enter and you can see here in the argument there is a argument created out data table and out okay since we are reading this entire data and transferring to other workflow that is the reason I the direction uh, will be in out now go to design tab again create one more sequence that is for uh, um, data manipulation okay let's say that is the workflow to data manipulation okay data manipulation and here as you know the argument type is data table the direction is out and the name is out data table you can either you can copy here okay or else you go to this workflow our intention is to bring bring it here right you go to here and you can manually also add in data table you can give whatever the name is but uh, for to identify the in and out variable i am giving the same name only change i am ch changing the direction okay and the direction should be in and the argument type should be data table because we need to um, we need to choose the option of uh, same data uh, type okay so then only the data will be transferred from this workflow to this workflow and so here i am going to use uh, output we saw that you write uh, this particular activity in uh, at the time of variable demo and i am going to use this output data table and what is the data table i am going to convert it as a string it is in data table okay this data table and I am going to create one more variable. So here I am not going to create a argument. I am going to create a variable because from here I, I am not going to uh, share my value uh, from this workflow to another workflow. I am keep it here within this workflow only. That is the reason I am going to create a one variable that is uh, str uh, dt uh, text. Okay, enter. So now you see in the variable panel there is a variable created. Okay now you use message box okay message box and uh, call your str dt text this variable okay now you created a one workflow and uh, which is uh, um, which is going to read the excel data and uh, store it into this out data table and here you created uh, one out that the same data you are here just you are converting data table into string that's it but here there is no connection from this workflow to this workflow okay because your value will be stored in this very this argument and here there is no value but you you added the variable data table to convert it but we need to get the value from this workflow right so that is the reason in the main workflow we are you know invoking each workflow one by one so because in the main to invoke what is the use of invoke activity so i want to run my process step by step first the excel data ex extract excel data should execute then followed by this data manipulation okay then go here and drag and drop ex extra uh, excel data and drag and drop data manipulation okay now you see click on import argument there is a out direction with a data table type and here click on import arguments with a in direction okay now both both sequence are there but there is no connectivity right so to make connectivity in the variable panel i am going to create this is uh, dt table i am going to create a variable and variable type should be data table only because we are transferring data table variable uh, data table argument only right so now we are taking out and you are going to store the same value into uh, dt table okay then click on okay now once this particular sequence executed and your your value will be transferred to here then from here to i am going to share it here okay like a middleman so here you say dt table then it's going inside okay inside then if the bot transferred the uh, value data table value to this then this workflow become it has a value then it will uh, take and convert it as a text then it will print it here 
okay let's see go to main and close this so close and uh, just go to debug just debug it to debug it to check it uh, check our result and uh, step into and uh, see now it's going to execute this uh, this workflow and now you see this tab is opened now it's see here the out data table is null now okay then step into its reach read range still it is null okay step into it's executed the read range workbook and now you see how data table contains a value that is name subject subject to now we are transferring now you see there is a data table value it is available in the out data table argument now you execute where it's going to transfer so there is a, a variable also that is a data table variable right in which is available in the main you see execute okay now bot now came to main page okay see your uh, the entire data table uh, value transfer to this main page main page we have a one data table uh, a variable right it's transfer to this now the data which is available here okay step into it's moved here now you see still the data table value is available in the dt data data, data table which is available in the main page now click on step into you see that particular data table value transfer to this in data table inside this now step into now what we are doing just we are converting data table to string then the message box it's going to print as a uh, text okay so this is how so assume that you know in real time so we we used to pass um, maybe if you want to uh, build a bot for uh, uh, interacting with the web browser and we need we need to pass username and password the url and everything in real time we used to pass those information from config file or either through assets or through uh, credentials that i will let you know later but as of now just simply understand that so if i want to transfer value from one workflow to another workflow i need to use a argument so if i want to pass value from this workflow to this workflow the direction will be here out and if you are uh, the input uh, the, in, uh, the output is coming from the different uh, workflow then this is the place in direction okay the direction should be in okay and uh, that's it.